Chapter 8 Inheritance and Polymorphism. Now let's look into how overriding works. There are two classes parent class player and child class ice player. They both have action and move methods. However, the ice player overrides the methods and prints its own thing. Player01 reference variable is declared and it references an ice player object. What is printed as a result of player01 dot action? Let's look at it step by step. Because player01 object is an ice player object, player01 dot action calls the action method from the ice player class. First line of the action method calls super dot action. As we've learned before, super is how Java calls the parent class. Super dot action therefore calls the parent class's action method. This prints player action. Next line calls the move method. Hmm, which move method will this invoke? The one under the parent class or the one under the child class? It invokes the child method's move. Why is that? Out of the two, the more specific method is called, which is the child class's method. This move method prints ice player moving. This completes the first line of the action method. Now let's go to the second line. It prints ice stars. In the next chapter, let's look at other object-oriented programming concepts to upgrade the robots.